What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And courtesy of DBZ Space, the boy Renzi, uh, he basically found that there is something in the files, can you know, uh, suggesting. I'm not going to say it's confirmed. We don't have a release date or anything like that for it. But he found something in the files suggesting that full power Frieza's Dokkan Awakening, or excuse me, well, I guess it kind of is, but not really. But anyways, Extreme Z Awakening is coming really, really soon. Hope you all enjoy this. Subscribe if you are new for more content. Later today, there will be a Don Machi Memorial Freeze video I want you guys all to check out if you are new to the game. It is an incredible gacha game, and it's a lot of fun. That being said, uh, he did find some stuff in there and all that other good stuff. So, uh, he <laughs> so about those stones, though. Uh, and then there are a few tweet responses to him. So this is basically what he found. So in the database, there is a archive for characters that have an extreme Z awakening. And literally just an hour ago, Frieza was not a part of this list. Now he is. So if we go ahead and pull up Frieza's unit, it doesn't show any you know statistical changes or anything like that. But there is an option for the extreme Z awaken available now, which is actually really really interesting because if you take a look at it, we can see uh, what happens to the unit. Like it's already in the files. Level 15 SA body attributes get so physical types get three key and 70 percent, uh, and he gets to the attack 120 percent when he launches his super attack, and. It gets three key and 30% defense. What? <laughs> okay, so he gets 30% defense, I assume, at the start of the turn. Uh, but he gets three key. Either he gets three key and 30% at the start of the turn, or he gets three key and 120 on super and only defense at the start of the turn. But the Frieza low key got really good. This is actually really good for him because he was already really good, especially if you had him with orbs invested. Because here's the thing. This original class of units, the Broly, the Goku, the, the Frieza, and then uh, the Gogeta, and you know, the Vegeta, SS3, the STR, those, all those units get premium potential system. Uh, literally, these stats are insanely high, and that's not even his Extreme Z Awaken stats, because I don't think I can pull up his Extreme Z Awaken stats. It just pulls up the uh, data for it, but I can't pull up his stats, so the stats will go up as well. Now, I don't know how big of a jump they will you know, feature, but we can kind of base it off of Broly's Extreme Z Awaken. But Frieza getting defense is actually very helpful, though, like I was saying, because naturally, uh, mine at like 80 or something like 90%, whatever, on Extreme Physical, of course, that's Extreme Physical, which is kind of outdated as a leader skill at this this point 120 is good but not as good as it could be hopefully frieza gets put into a better category in the future i think he's a part of like the namek saga this gohan's category otherwise it's not super significant but um you know hopefully he gets under a 150 plus 170 whatever um but he was able to get like 50k defense you know and with a defensive boost he'll be viable you know i didn't think that this was one of the ones where it's like what are you going to do with this unit because he was already really good. Like, he was already incredibly... He already had immense. Uh, he already had... Uh, what's it called? 120 on the passive. He was, like, already god tier. Seriously. Like, and he's such an old unit. So, it didn't make a lot of sense to me. But they did the right thing for him. Uh, and they gave him a defensive boost and self-sufficiency. Because I didn't see them jacking up that passive to 150. You know, like that. And, and on top of, like, the high stats and all that stuff, again, it's just kind of too much. <laughs> but he's really good. Now, that kind of honestly makes him a little bit more middling among the other two. Not really as much Broly because Broly's cool and all, but he kind of lacks a bit because he still keeps that hit everybody. And since he hits everybody, they felt the need to not give him as big of a statistical increase. But the Goku and the Frieza are more on par with each other, which is kind of how it should be. This really makes me raise an eyebrow to Gogeta. I think... When it comes to, like, Gogeta's Z Awakening, they'll probably just give him, like, 80% or something like that because and keep his passive and maybe get some defense But because his stats are ridiculously high, too. Uh, and I think the same thing can kind of apply because you can see a pattern with the way that they've handled these units thus far. Uh, and that's the Broly logo, which I don't really need. <laughs> uh, here's a comparison for Broly. So this is how he is currently basically global versus JP right now. <laughs> Anyways, it's not that serious, but I guess, you know, he's going to be the next one on Global if you're interested. Uh, anyways, so he started off with 3 key, and then at max, Extreme Z Awakening goes up to 3 key and 70% versus 3,000 attack only. Uh, also, mass damage is the equivalent to Extreme, so Extreme damage to all enemies. 
That got bumped up to supreme damage on all, em all enemies, by the way, excuse me, which was actually unheard of. I think the only other unit that had supreme on all da all enemies was Maja Vegeta's, uh, night what is it, 18 key or whatever. I think that was the only all enemy target move that did supreme, correct me if I'm mistaken. Not only that, but he gets an attack raise for three turns, so that means you can stack that. So that's actually pretty cool. You can stack it a couple of times before it starts wearing off. So that's pretty cool also. And he also loses the entire like defense down uh, and actually in turn gets a defense improvement. And it's not even when he launches a super. It's just when he attacks. So like he can normal attack and <laughs> still get that. So this Broly got a very sizable increase. But you can see the differences, especially like with the leader skill. That's where the biggest change is. And the same thing applies to Frieza. And that actually is pretty cool if you just need a leader for the mono team or if you need a friend leader for the uh, Extreme Z, not Extreme Z battle, but the... Um, the uh, Dokkan Battlefield, you know, as a sub leader. So that's pretty cool in terms of what you can expect for the Frieza. And, of course, the passive skill on Frieza gets changed to where he gets defense, too, which I pointed out and how that's significant for him. Uh, and this is how he is, again, currently. Uh, the Link set, I imagine, doesn't change at all, but he's going to be very good. He, like I said, already had immense, already had 120, so I was just baffled as to what they could do with this unit. He's, like, three years old, and he was, like, incredibly good. Not three years, maybe two and a half, but still. All right, so... Before we get out of here, I just wanted to do a really quick update on the Extreme Physical team because, you know, prior to this, I mean, the team was kind of the same anyway, but I wanted to do a quick update because this actually means a lot for this team. Uh, and it, it's unfortunate, but I can't wait until he and Cooler can be on a team again that's more, again, updated because Cooler is able to be on the movie category team, which prior to that, Cooler uh, and Janemba were like the best units aside from SS4 Goku, who still doesn't have a category that didn't have categories. So... Uh, they can be on this team together, but this one, again, is a little bit outdated. But if you're somebody that's interested in running this team, which I know I will be when it comes to this Extreme Z Awaken, I want to show off this Frieza in his best possible situation, which as of now is on this team. I wanted to show you guys an updated uh, team build guide for him. So also, really quick before we do that, I want to, I know, I just remembered that I wanted to compare Broly's stats pre and post Awakening. So uh, these are his stats maxed out. 16,000, 16,800, you know, 16,800, 16,800, and then 10,000. Um, and that's, I ex I believe, the Extreme Z Battle one, or Extreme Z Awaken. No, it doesn't even show the updated stats, actually. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Uh, okay, no, they're right here. Look at this stat change. 16,000 HP changes to almost 20,000. That's wild <laughs> that helps your overall hp a lot so you can expect freezes hp to jump like 3k probably um and then the attack goes from 16,800 to literally almost 3k increase in attack i don't think freeze will get that much attack he'll probably get more defense because broly only picks up a little under like what a little over 1k defense or so uh, like 1300 defense so it's going to be interesting i think freeze is probably going to get like 1300 uh attack and then the other two stats will be like 3k I assume Goku's in a really similar uh, situation. Let's go ahead and pull up the Goku really quick. He's going to be right here somewhere. He's going to literally be right here. There he is. All right. So going to swap this down here. So he was at 15, basically 16K if you round up. And then he goes up to basically 19K HP, uh, 15 attack to 18. And then... Yeah, he got that minimal increase on defense as well. Maybe they'll do the same thing for the Frieza, given the bigger increases on HP and attack and then the minimal one on defense. I don't know. I'm kind of probably lowballing the Frieza because, I mean, Goku now gets 120, uh, but at the start of the turn for seven turns, he's, he's way different than Frieza, to be honest. But Frieza actually got really good, like I said. I'm actually really excited for this. Uh, so... Overall, this is the best possible team build right here, and I know it's only four units. That's because the last couple of units you could fill in. A lot of people love to run Sin, and I hate Sin. I just, I just feel like having Sin on rotation with Omega, while it's cool for Omega, and Sin himself can do a bit of damage, I'd rather have Cooler and, and uh, Omega on one rotation and then the friend Cooler and Frieza on the other rotation and float everybody else. Um, but that's just me because I think Cooler is a lot better <laughs> than Sin anyway. And they activate enough links between the two to where it doesn't really matter, right? Uh, but the last couple of slots can just be filled in by support units or things of that nature, depending on what you do or don't have. I mean, physical Goku Black is an option. LR Ginyu, if you have him, is an option. Uh, of course, other support units like this Nappa, the free-to-play Nappa from the Baba Shop, is an option. 
and so on and so forth. Maybe even this Broly is an option. But really, if you were trying to uh, focus primarily on showing off Frieza, his link skills don't change. But that being said, there could be some viable links, or excuse me, links that you want to access for him in that, you know, he has the Fierce Battle, which you want to make sure you have as much of that as possible. He has, and the Frieza Clan links as well, which is why he links so well with his brother. So if you really, really just wanted to pop that Frieza off, you know, you start funneling in some more Frieza Clan characters and you're good to go. <laughs> so that is it. Uh, again, I'm very excited for Extreme Z Awaken Frieza. Like, this is awesome to me. I didn't really expect this to come as soon. I honestly thought that maybe Cell would be next. And let me know in the comments how you think who will be next, basically, uh, Cell or Gohan or any of that. I think they're going to finish off Cell and Gohan next and then move into the 70% leader skill like Beerus and then go like uh, Gogeta will be before that probably. But like Beerus and uh, Janemba int type and stuff like that. But let me know what you think because I'm, I'm very, very again excited <laughs> so anyways have an awesome day thank you guys for the continued support make sure you check out that don machi memoria freeze video an incredible game i want you guys to check out have an awesome day and i'll catch you in the next one guys take it easy